done. This is a weird one because some people saw right. flakes overnight and now here we are 12, 18 hours later and some people it's still coming down. Yeah, finally getting that show of snow for folks in the Greensboro area, Winston-Salem, the triad as we go east, but we also now have a little wraparound rain. Not so much fun. I know it's been a mixed bag for us. You can see here as we go through Winston Salem and Greensboro from the O Henry Hotel camera, you can see the snow started flying after the four o'clock hour. Things are starting to come down, but now not as intensely as they were and the system may end with a little bit of rain. Also High Point University, you can see also active weather there. As you can see the snow flying around town, but not a lot accumulating on the grass. So we've got this low. It is off the coast and as it rolled through earlier today, it was too dry. We just had a slot of dry air in and it did not allow for the snow that you're now seeing now. This is the back edge of the system. It rolls off to the north and east and with it we'll see some black ice forming. That's a bigger travel hazard for us now. You see the dry air from earlier in the day now off the coast to the east. With it we've got that moisture falling in the form of some snow, even from some flurries possible all the way down through Charlotte, but it's not going to amount to this high total where you can make some snowmen. I think that's going to be reserved for folks up in the mountains, and that's what we've got for you right now. 30s out there to near 34 in Mount Airy. Over the last six hours, we were in the 40s, believe it or not, in Burlington, Danville area. This is a zone that's going to be hard to see much on the ground. Not that we're complaining. I think that the roads not being terribly covered is going to help us out. We do work through the black ice the next few hours. The temperatures are going to stay locked in as we've got you down to 32 right now to 33 in Ashboro. We may have the winds come up and help to mix things out just a little bit, bring temperatures up and down a degree or two, but eventually back down into the 20s and overnight we have concerns for driving. So it's pivoting to the east right now out of the triad. It's got to be cold enough for that snow and we're beginning to see that in spots. It's just not adding up enough as we don't have enough mo moisture left and the storm is really winding down. So what we know, snow wintry mix reported on those Reedsville roads. We've also seen reports of rain, of course, on the back edge of this. Now roads becoming slick and black ice forming. You're looking at those elevated surfaces where air can get to those surfaces much more quickly and cool you even cooler than those air temperatures are reading for us right now. So finally, snow in King and big flakes. Thanks to all of our viewers sending these in. You see also in Mount Airy, just a light dusting from earlier. We knew that there were going to be some spots that we might see a little bit more. Most of that has been in the mountains. Let's take a look at the snow reports. A lot of them coming in from the west, about eight inches in Sparta reported independence, three inches, fancy gap and some of the higher elevations there at five inches up in Virginia with Ennis at six inches and Boonville only three inches. And then you go a little bit lower with an inch and a half or so in East Bend, about a half an inch. Now, most of that's not even going to be on the ground by the time you're up at 10 a.m., 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. A lot of it will have melted just with the help of the sun alone, even though temperatures will take a little while to return. You've got snow reports also from Hanging Rock about an inch. As you know, state parks there closed and also Pilot Mountain area. And so we want to avoid getting out in the roads if we can right now. It's after dark and those conditions are only going to worsen as we head into the next few hours. Reedsville, a half an inch. Hillsville, about 3.8 of an inch. So hour by hour, you can see most of this is out of here within the next two hours. It may, on the tail end here, end as some rain, if not a little bit more sleep mixing in. We also have a little bit of sleep, not enough to cause major travel concerns fortunately today by the overnight hours we're back down into the 30s we're into the 20s by early tomorrow morning we believe as you wake up to near 32 cold enough to support that black ice but not for long you're then in the 40s and we're turning you back into those cold freezing conditions tomorrow night so whatever's left over that has melted in the mountains could refreeze and there may be black ice concerns there again tomorrow night. But up until midnight tonight, we have our winter storm warnings in effect for the mountains and points west. Our winter weather advisories were issued for folks in the triad again. So you were dropped out of that warning, but still now we're looking for black ice as the main hazard. Not a whole lot coming down. We'll be lucky to get a coating in Burlington and Asheboro area. You're slippery out there tomorrow morning with breezy weather and temperatures in those mid 40s. You've got sunshine from 28 degrees in the foothills and we warm only to about 43 degrees in the mountains and foothills or eastern foothills. It's slippery out there too for early part of the day and in the mountains we've got some wind. So sunshine will be with us. That's what we have on our side throughout the day tomorrow, but likely only near 31 degrees to near freezing tomorrow. Your seven day forecast looking fantastic too from 45 on your Saturday to 47 Sunday. Then we talk about another round of possible wintry mix going into Tuesday morning. Short lived though as temperatures warm back into the 40s that day, then near 50 late next week. Looking good.